Hey, what's going on? It's Trip from TripAdvice.com, and I got a very special guest today. Her name is April Summers. She has been in Playboy. She has been in Maxim. She has been in FHM. She has over 2 million followers on Facebook. So people like her, and she's really cool, and we've been talking for the past couple of weeks, and she's got a lot of great information to share with you today on how to impress a girl or impress a woman just like her. And we are Skyping all the way from, where, where are you exactly? I know you're in the UK, but what, what city are you in? Like what area? I'm in London. I'm right in London. The oh, you're right in London. Yeah. Nice. I was there a couple years ago. Very fun place. And you said you've not been to the United States yet, have you? I no, I haven't. No, but I hear only good things about it, and I can't wait to get out there soon. Okay, yeah. if you want April Summers to come visit you <laughs> in the United States, I want you to write down in the comments below, "April, come to the U.S." <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. So, April, we're talking today about how to impress a girl, and we started talking about it um, off camera, and I like sure. I just stopped you. I'm like, all right, this this is too good. Like, I like your information. I like what you're saying here. So. We decided to bring it onto the camera, but let's continue cool. that conversation. So let's just start off. Tell us, you know, what is it that impresses girls? What is it that impresses you? Go for it. Okay, cool. Well, as I was saying before, I think a lot of girls, no matter who you are, we've all been approached by guys a fair amount of times. So I think we've all had a lot of experience when it comes to guys chatting us up or trying to approach us out and about. Um, I would say most girls can see through a guy who's putting some sort of front or show on, who is acting someone who is not himself to try and impress the girl. And I think we can see straight through that. So my advice, my first advice would be, seriously, girls will see through you if you're, if you're putting a front on. Just, just be natural and be yourself. And um, that is the most important quality in a, in a guy, for him to be not afraid of who he is. I think that just shows real strength and confidence. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think, I think guys get that advice a lot and they get, they get very confused. They get the advice of like, just be yourself. And, sure. And what I've kind of gathered now after all these years of when people say that is, you know, because being themselves, well, they just are being themselves because you're always yourself, <laughs> right? So like who, yeah. who, who else are you? Right. Yeah, so, yeah. but, but that still isn't really working for guys. So like, well, I'm being myself and it's still not working. But I think that mm. what you're saying here is that when the guy is, it's not about just being yourself, but it's about not trying to put on that front. So can you give us like an example of like what a guy would do where you're like, okay, this is not him. He's being weird or he's being someone different. Like what have you, what have you come across with that before? Sure. Well, I've had a lot of guys who think that either succeeding really well in um, a career or a business and having a lot of money and a lot of material things to show for that, they think that this is going to impress a girl. Actually, it's not the material things that, that press us, impress us rather, sorry. It's the confidence that comes with um, the success. So in order, I think we associate success with someone who's confident in themselves but in fact I'm if a guy comes along to me and is like yeah you know um do you know do you want to, I want to take you out to the coolest restaurant the most expensive club you know get in my Lamborghini like this kind of like oh my god no <laughs> like this is all wrong and it's just it's so obvious when a guy starts mentioning uh what he has rather than you know um coming across with real values and these values are definitely not in money or, or what you have like objects to show for um, right, right. success. So what, that makes sense? Yeah, no, it does. <laughs> and so I think, yeah, then just going off of that, like what are the values that a girl looks for then? If it's not, you know, if, they're, if a guy comes by, has the Lamborghini, blah, 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 blah. You know, I mean, that might impress a certain type of girl, maybe a type of girl yeah. that might be using a guy or something like that. Like but, a gold digger, yeah. Yeah, like a gold digger. But for the girls who are not gold diggers, what are the values that they're looking for? Um, Just, okay, the values in a guy is someone who's willing to give his time um, 
but not to necessarily like just the sexual and the like the, like someone who's really willing to actually know the girl and, and interested and and caring. The most I think one of the most important values is to be caring and considerate, always considerate. And no matter how tough a girl seems, <laughs> we are all quite sensitive um, beneath. So um, no matter how beautiful or glamorous or whatever she looks, she's still going to be quite sensitive. So a guy who is somewhat sensitive and caring and considerate and takes time to listen to what she's saying and looking at in her eyes rather than anywhere else. Um, yeah, so I just think, yeah, this is really important. Right. <clears throat> so guys who are paying attention to more of what the girl is saying and Exactly. And and who she is, and actually giving a crap about who she is as a person, rather yeah. than kind of everything else. I think you also make a good point there, where you said that there's a lot of girls like who you might think have this like hard or harsh front on, mm-hmm. and I can imagine. Tell me if I'm wrong. You might you actually might put that on maybe when you're out and about, but yeah. then you know if a guy can. If you notice a guy who's being more true to himself and less superficial and a little bit more sensitive, then that guard might drop. Am I getting that right? Exactly, exactly. Because I think a lot of the guard and um, a lot of the makeup and everything is is like a protection. So because obviously you've got to be aware of well, everyone, especially living in the city, and you, you just want to be perceived as a certain type when someone looks at you, so they think, hey, I, you know, I'm not going to mess with you, this girl. She knows what she's about, blah, blah, blah. But if a guy is really considerate and, yeah, it takes time to actually take an interest in what's behind all the visage, then it just goes, and, and you'll find her, and you'll find the girl, and she will really appreciate you for just, yeah, being taking that time to get to know her rather than, what the image is or whatever she's trying to yeah yeah no absolutely so how do you think a guy can like come up and start a conversation with you like so you have a boyfriend right now right i do yeah so how did you meet him (laughs) okay so i met him in the summer and my guard was down actually big time because i was on holiday um i was kind of thinking out the box and like I wasn't wearing any makeup and I was just free spirited and he's just like a down to earth guy, like a surfer. And we met at um, a wine festival and um, we were with a group of friends and we were just speaking. And usually to be honest, he's not the kind of guy that I thought I would go for at first sight. How come? But, um, hmm, good question. I hope he's not listening to me. Uh, he's probably not because he's dating you. I don't think he needs this advice. <laughs> No, um, I think it's, um, well, just maybe because he was so, like, he, like so natural and so, he was quite shy and sensitive and uh, I think maybe shyness sometimes isn't the correct approach because we want to feel like a guy is a, kind of knows what he's about and is more confident. Mm-hmm. But he was really, really shy. He was beautiful, but really, really shy. And um, I was like, hmm, no, <laughs> where are the confident, cool guy? <laughs> but then as the night went on and I was speaking to him, he was just so, so, so sweet and like just so not, like real and everything that he was saying was just clearly real. And I really, really appreciated that. What do you mean by that? I want to get more specific so guys can understand. Like when you say he was real, like how could you tell he was being real? Because he wasn't trying to impress me. Like he didn't try. He wasn't like there was no like drop in the conversation. Like oh, I have this, or I'm doing really well at this in my life at the moment. No egotistical references. Got it. And I think that's a lot of guys try and do when they're chatting up a girl. They use like their ego and. It's just not about that. It was funny. So, I think we've come yeah. to the conclusion that the best way to impress a girl is to not try to impress a girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It, it, again, it, obviously, it depends on the kind of girl. I think every girl is different. But as I said, we're all really sensitive underneath. So as, as long as you know the guy is not trying to in any way um, con you or just just 
give you a superficiality in order just to we don't want to feel like we're being used and I think a lot of guys when they come across too confident and too overt it's like okay this guy wants one thing from me and one thing only and then quickly the guard goes up and you just back away um yeah. when a guy's confident but he's more like he gives a he, he cares but he's not trying too hard like he's not you know trying to tell, impress you with what he has or what he does then you're kind of thinking okay well he's not really trying too hard so obviously this guy is from, you know he, he doesn't want to just sleep with me right right yeah i think it's like and this is kind of what i'm trying to teach on the channel here is like there's a fine line right it's like a spectrum like one end of the spectrum is like the super confident um egotistical kind of guy and then like on the other end is like the really shy um in their head kind of just like too scared to even go up to approach a girl not sure. confident and it's like you want to be like on the spectrum like if this is the um shy person this is a super confident person you kind of want to be like over here like you actually don't want to be too much over here because if mm. you if you come off too overconfident you can actually scare the girl away you know you can mm -hmm. scare her away because you're it's almost like too over the top or i mean kind of going back to what you were saying before it's almost fake it's like when exactly. people when people are around guys who are super confident and super egotistical it's like they're trying to make up for something like they have like they have their own self-esteem issues exactly. that like that guy on the other end might have yeah 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 you know what i mean so it's not completely like, agree with you there. it's not That's like it. it's, be there. it's like they're they're um trying to benefit for what they what they really are missing it's like why are you telling me all of this are you not are you not really like you know, do you not feel good enough that you can't tell me the truth, or you know, you've got to make up for something else? Right. Yeah. Definitely. Right. right. Or it's like, or they just don't know, or they, or they, <laughs> or they just think that those are the things that impress girls, right? It's yeah. Like having lots of money, having lots of stuff, and like I said, that can impress a certain amount of girls. And if you want a girl who's just gonna like you for your stuff and your money. Um, I mean, go for it, but I don't. I don't think that you're going to get the quality connection and quality relationship that you're really going to want. You know, mm -hmm. if you want something that's going to be like awesome and feel amazing, it's going to be with someone who's going to want you for who you are. You know, your actual absolutely. true confidence, not this fake persona you're putting on. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I mean, it depends for the guy. Like, I don't know the guys watching this if they what the, if they're looking for a relationship or if they just want to sleep with a girl. It just depends, I think, really. I think they're looking for both. I think there's guys yeah. on here who are looking to just be able to have sex with the girls that they want to. And I think that there's guys also who want relationships. And there's guys who want both. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And there's guys on here, I think, who are also looking for general like social skills and things like that. So I think it's a okay. wide variety of, of different types of guys on here. But um, sure. yeah, no, this has been great. Is there? I think we're kind of running out of time here. But is there anything okay. else you want to share um, you got a whole audience here of guys who are here to listen to you. So any kind of last words of advice? Um, last word of advice is just stay happy. Um, happy, happy is a, a main quality that we like as well. That attracts everyone if you're happy. So, um, yeah, just be happy. Whatever you're doing, just find what it is that makes you happy. Awesome. And that will naturally attract girls. Yeah, no, I totally agree. That's great. Actually, really good advice. I actually don't hear a lot of people say that. I try to, to spit that out every once in a while, but that is awesome. Cool. April, thank you so much. Guys, if you cool. want to check her out, I'm going to put links for her below, her Instagram, her Facebook, and, uh, and do you have a website as well? Um. I do, but it's just full of pictures. <laughs> okay. probably like I don't think the guys are going to, um, I think they're going to be okay with that. So yeah, we'll put all, all right. the information below. Thank you so much for uh, coming on and, and so sharing your knowledge. All right, sweet. Bye-bye.